But 18 months ago, I got in touch with Chris Marwood and said to him, Chris, you know, it's going to be my 50th birthday at the end of next year, and maybe you would think of sticking one of my pieces in one of your programs. Uh, because obviously we've known each other for a long time, so you know, I felt I could do that. And Chris thought about it and he said, well, why not, why not do a series? Uh, which of course was a great idea as far as I was concerned. And then it was a matter of trying to get some thematic idea so that it wasn't just a random collection of quartets, but there was something linking these quartets with other quartets, great quartets by other composers I wanted to involve. For me, it's, it'll be revisiting old friends and some, some of the music we're playing. We're playing Beethoven's Grosse Fugue, we're playing Schubert's beautiful Rosamund Quartet, um, and we're playing Debussy. It's, it's, it's just coming back to these pieces in quick succession, and then in, in, in con contrast them with Ian's own work and thoughts over the years. My relationship with the Vamber Quartet goes back to 1992, when they asked me to write my first quartet for them. And since then, they've premiered many of my works. And I'm glad to say we maintain a healthy working relationship to this day. What's great about Ian's music is always imaginative, always challenging in different ways. Um, even when it's very dense and very difficult, uh, it's absolutely worth it. They, just, they haven't just done my string quartets. They've, they've taken part in pieces um, which involve other musicians. We did a piece called The Book of Ways with improvising saxophonist Cahill Roach and the Vamba Quartet back in 2010, where we spent a long time working out how to arrive at a notation which would allow a classical string quartet to improvise. Uh, and that was very um, entertaining process and very educational as well for all of us. But when we came to perform it, I mean, it was just uh, really a wonderful experience for me. And uh, then my own new quartet, Alluvio, which is a slightly more tangential um, relation to the idea of folk. Um, it's actually quite an abstract piece, but it was inspired by um, an event which brought a, commu a community together in Cork. It was actually the flooding that happened in Cork City at the start of uh, this year. The community did really come together, and I was very inspired by this idea that um, you know, folk doesn't just relate to uh, art or music, it's about people. To, to be working with somebody like the Vambra over that length of time, which is now about 22 years, it's been great for me because I know how they work, certainly as a unit. I know their sound now, I know them individually and what their playing characteristics are. So I feel that if I want to call on that information, it's it's readily to hand and I can tailor a piece for the Vamba Quartet in the way that I probably couldn't tailor it for a different quartet. So I feel very privileged to have been able to work with such a wonderful group for so long and the fact that we're still progressing together now uh, is very satisfying and um, it makes me quite proud actually.